Hey guys, Brent here with the DroidDemos.com. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys the file manager that I use. Uh, I've actually been using it for a while now, uh, but the current video I have for the uh, for a file manager that I use is kind of outdated, um, and I thought I should update you guys on what I'm currently using. So I was using ES File Explorer, and I pretty much lived by this app. I I rep this app all the time, and it's a really great app. It's got a ton of functionality, and it brought all of this functionality a long time ago, and it's had it for a long time. So uh, it's got, obviously, local. I can do a web connection, FTP, uh, cloud. But the app doesn't really look good, and it doesn't have as much functionality as the app I'm going to show you guys today. And the app I'm currently using is called File Expert. I know a lot of you uh, probably have heard of this app, um, but I want to just run it, run it through for everyone who d hasn't seen it before. So here's the screen that you see when you first open up the app. As you can tell, the app already looks really good. It's clean, it's simple, but it's got all the necessary uh, functionality right here on the uh, first screen that you see. So I'll just run through the different options. Um, the first one you have is My Files, and that's pretty much what it uh, what it says it is. It's going to show you all of your files. So I can look at internal storage, I can look at the SD card. So if I click on that, it'll show me everything that I have on the SD card. Um, everything you would expect to see, we have all of that. I can just go through. Um, I have nothing in that folder. Uh, let's go down to, say, download. Um, so then I can hold on things just like normal, I'll have all the same options that you would expect to have, copy, pasting, moving, decompressing, I can zip it, uh, rename, um, everything. Uh, there's nothing really missing from this app. I can do multi-select if I want to do more than one option. I consistently have these options at the bottom, which is something that I really like, so I can always easily see uh, my different options. Um, and another thing, looking at the top, I can do new tabs. So if I want to leave this open, I want to copy something in between them, I can just go to this other tab, go in here someplace else, and I can easily get back uh, right back and forth to these uh, different areas, which works really well if you're working one in the uh, SD card and then another, say, on your Dropbox. So let's go back, um, and I'll show you the other option. So that shows you all of your files on your SD card, internal storage. If I click on My Documents, it's going to be this, do the same thing, but it actually, sorry, that's Twitter, uh, it actually splits it up into different uh, types of files. So if I want to look at all my images on my, on my phone, or if I want to look at all of my video, music, documents, I can look at all the apps. Uh, I can look at all the compressed packages I have. So if I want to look at all my, all my different ROMs that I can flash, I can easily get to those. Um, so that's a really easy way. If you feel like separating it, um, I can do that as well. Um, right here, we have a lot of app functionality. So if you're not a huge Titanium backup fan, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, since it's one of the best apps uh, on Android, um, but if you want to use everything in one app, which File Expert pretty much does, I can do uh, go into here, um, look at my apps uh, once it opens up, and looks like it's going to give me trouble. Uh, here we go. So here's all of my apps, um, and if I hold on these, we have some options here. Like you got NFC tapping. We got I can open it in the market. I can back it up, so if you don't want to use Titanium Backup, you can do everything within File Expert. I can share it, uh, I can like it, which basically likes it within File Expert's uh, realm, uh, which allows it to recommend apps for you, which I'll show you in a second. But anyways, you can back up apps all through File Expert as well. The next option is My Cloud, so if I want to look at all of the uh, files that I have in the cloud, I can add different accounts. Uh, as you see here, I have my Dropbox. I'll all I have to do when setting it up is put in my uh, username and password and then it'll automatically log me in and I can look at all my files. Um, here are the different accounts that you can currently do. Uh, I know box.net is something that's really popular so you may have that uh, but it's got the main ones right here. Uh, we can go back. I can uh, show you the next option which is uh, something that I loved having in ES File Explorer, we have networks. So if I want to look at uh, 
some uh, different uh, other uh, online storage places that I have. If I have an FT, if I have a server that I want to FTP to, I can look at that there. SFTP, FTPS, uh, whatnot, Bluetooth. I have all of that. Uh, then if I want to share my contents, which is basically opposite, um, I want to be the server, then I can do it via web, I can share via FTP, so if I just go in here and just click on that, all you have to do is open up your FTP client as long as you're connected to your network, put in this information, you can log right into your client. Um, this one is really cool because there's a few apps that are specifically dedicated to doing this, and with File Expert, you have it built right in. It's extremely simple to use. All I have to do is click on this. It's going to share it. Give me a URL I want to go to. And I'll show you that right here. Um, open up a new tab. It says I type just 10.0.1.4 port 8080, and I click Enter. It's going to give me uh, the screen. I've already logged in, so I don't have to do anything. Um, but it'll show you that login you just put FE, your file expert. And here I can access my phone directly from the screen. Uh, so if you look right here, I got file expert, just double click on that. It'll open the, up this screen. And you see here I have SD card, and here are all my files. So if you feel like doing this, you don't want to mess with FTP, this makes it really easy to browse all the files on your phone wirelessly. I can move things around just like I could in FTP as well. And then we can just X out that. So it's basically like you have your own desktop for your phone. Um, go back here, show you guys some more. Um, click OK, click Stop. I can also share via Bluetooth and start Wi-Fi file receiver. Um, and then of course I've got favorites, so if I want to mark a favorite place I can easily get to it and utilities is basically settings. As I said, um, it'll recommend apps, so based on what I have installed I can click on this and it'll recommend apps that I should get. Um, so here those are, I can, I can directly install those just by clicking on them. Uh, we have a theme manager, so if I want to easily install themes, and then of course we have our settings. So that shows you all the options in File Expert. Again, I think it's the best file manager on the on the market right now, and it's easily the, uh, in my opinion, the best looking. Um, we have a really simple interface, and we have all of our uh, options easily accessible. Again, it's called File Expert. Definitely try it out. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. There is a download link below, um, and I hope you like it. Again, this is Brent with the DroidDemos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.